Globally, Ghana stands at 67 out of 189 economies on the World Bank's Ease of Doing Business ranking. And with its vibrant culture and wealth of natural resources, the West African country is developing quickly. I'm honoured to be joined by Mawenya Triba, CEO of the Ghana Investment Promotion Centre. Well, Mawenya, how has Ghana developed over the past few years and compared to neighbouring countries, how competitive is it? Well, I think there's much to be said for where Ghana is today, um, certainly from an economic perspective, but just in terms of the quality of the investments that we are attracting as a country. Uh, I think it's clear that what pertained in terms of investment promotion a decade ago has changed significantly because of the economic growth on the continent. What we're seeing is a lot of enthusiasm around some of the things that are important to us from a development perspective. So how we're able to close ease of doing business gaps by investing more in infrastructure, the energy sector is really important, but also creating a lot of value in some of the non-traditional areas of focus like agriculture and manufacturing, which is really going to be at the heart of creating a lot of the jobs we're looking to generate. Well, what challenges does the country face in terms of attracting investment and how are you tackling these? Ghana is taking the challenges that have been associated with attracting the right kinds of investments and turning those into opportunities. We've really showcased the strength of our political dispensation, the history of political stability that's really made Ghana recognized as an oasis of peace, which is really important for the international investing community. By the same token, we've been able to demonstrate that we're interested in partnerships. So we want the investment to create profit for the investor, but it also needs to translate into development. And so that win-win paradigm is what we've been looking for. And the kinds of investors that really don't know much about investing on the continent are now looking to start building a portfolio of investments. And it's been our job as a country and certainly as an investment promotion center to reach out to them, to showcase a broad suite of services that they can acknowledge will assist them through the investment promotion process and allows the investor to understand what the roadmap should be, what the legislative requirements would be, and support them through every stage of the investment process. And I think as more and more investors are looking to the African continent, they will recognize Ghana as that gateway for access into the rest of the 350 million subscribers uh, within the West African subregion, and that's really where Ghana has positioned itself. And how developed is infrastructure in the country, and what projects are you working on? We do have a lot to do in addressing the infrastructure requirements that will take us to uh, upper middle income status. That's the trend that we're, we're anticipating. Infrastructure, especially on the side of energy, roads, transportation, port facilities are some of our key areas of opportunity. We're really looking for strategic investors who are interested in long-term medium opportunities that will translate again into commercial benefits for them but also into the right economic indicators by way of job creation for us as a country. And what are the major industries for investment in the country and what opportunities are there? A lot of our attention obviously has been on the energy sector. Uh, we'll continue to uh, raise the, the flag high of Ghana uh, when it comes to opportunities to invest in the energy sector. We have a long track record of also being able to export energy to the rest of the subregion, so that's a real plus for us. We're also going to give a lot of attention to our port facilities, airport facilities, as we continue to see more and more people recognizing Ghana as that gateway into the subregion. There's a lot more pressure on infrastructure uh, that creates those efficiencies for the domestic as well as international business community. So those two areas are very important, but as I said, we want more beneficiation in some of the areas like agriculture. 60% of our population is involved in agricultural activities. It's really important to us, uh, for instance, being recognized for cocoa production. We want to be able to take that a step further and ensure that we're able to produce the best chocolates in the world as well. So those partnerships and collaborations with the private sector that allow us to do that are some of the key opportunity areas, as well as tourism, because again, of how Ghana is positioning itself within the subregion. Is Ghana a safe and secure place to invest? The proof is in our positioning um, as the primary place of ease of doing business within the subregion. Uh, certainly, if you look at the quality of the labor force that we have established in country, again, those opportunities present themselves very strongly to the international as well as domestic investing community. So we're very proud of where we're at, but we're certainly looking to build on some of the opportunities and, and, and develop long-term relationships with the investing communities. 
Well, finally, Ghana, of course, has a very rich and colourful culture. So what are you doing to encourage entrepreneurship and put Made in Ghana products on the map? There's a whole campaign being built around Made in Ghana products, but we also believe there's much more to be said than just patronizing Made in Ghana goods. The standards of an international level that are required for our products and services are the expectations that we're putting before our domestic business community. And as an investment promotion center, we're very committed to collaborating with academic institutions, with the private sector, to make sure that we're building a base of entrepreneurial spirit uh, behind the private sector. We're very excited about those partnerships that can emerge uh, as a result of our investment promotion interventions. Awenya, thank you. Thank you.